I'm Laura Marie, and I'd like to lead you on a guided visualization. This visualization will go on a little journey. We'll take a walk together. There will be a grounding exercise at the beginning and then a question toward the end. So the point of the question is for you to fill in the blank. And hopefully by the time we get to the end and I ask the question, you'll have something you want to put into the blank. Let's begin. So to ground, if you're sitting in a chair and you can, please consider putting your feet flat on the ground. You could put one hand on your heart and one hand on your tummy. Try taking a deep breath and letting it out of your mouth with a sigh. Try another. Feel your feet on the earth and your sit bones situated on your chair. Feel Mother Earth, who is always there for you, safely supporting you, there for you your entire life, helping you have what you need, and before you, helping your ancestors have what they needed. And after you die, Mother Earth will be there for you too, to accept your body. Relax your arms, roll your shoulders if it feels good. Maybe give a little wiggle, and then it's time to begin. So, with your eyes closed or half closed, please imagine that we are walking through town. It's a town that you've been to before, but you don't live there. It's a small town and it's rather friendly and chill. You're walking by some houses on a street, walking, walking. It's cold outside, but not too cold, more just cool. And it's fall. And it's afternoon, so the light, the afternoon light is filtering through some trees. You walk by some houses and look at the front yards with their beautiful plants. Humble houses, mostly. And the trees and the yards and the plants. You might see a squirrel or a cat. You're walking, walking along. Thank Mother God you can walk feels good in this fantasy. You're without pain. You feel like a, a cool breeze on your skin, the skin of your face that's uncovered. Oh, and some of the houses have uh, smoke coming out of the chimneys. Like it's, it's cold enough that people have their fires going, some, t some of them. So... You walk a few blocks through this town, and then you get to the edge of town. The houses become more sparse, and you walk into a forest. It's a rather chill forest. There are lots of trees. You hear a clomping, clomp, clomp of your feet in the leaf litter on the earth. You might snap a twig or two under your feet. It might be a stream that you pass by and linger for a moment, seeing that beautiful water rushing through. Mmm, so pretty. You keep walking and you smell the earthy forest smells. Not sure whose forest this is, but it seems like a place people pass through. No big deal to, to be in this forest. You come to a clearing It's a grassy area, there are some stumps, maybe see some mushrooms growing. 
Then you see in front of you rows and rows of trees. It's an orchard. It's an apple orchard. You walk toward the orchard, curious, and you start seeing the different types of apple trees. You notice some of the trees in one grouping are very uh, rounded and the, the trees look thicker and denser with branches. Then some different trees, like the bark, slightly different color. Then other trees still are, are little, like they're still babies, still saplings. But the trees are heavy with apples because it is late fall. You see in the distance, a man, he seems to be a worker. So uh, you walk toward him. You're feeling friendly, might want to say hello to him. He's uh, in this orchard looking at a few of the trees. You're not sure what he's inspecting for. But you come up to him. He looks up at you and smiles. You don't think you know him, but he seems a little familiar, like someone you would know or you would have known, maybe, when you were younger. The man is friendly and reaches up into the tree to pick a beautiful apple for you. He says hello and hands the apple to you. You take it in your hand and say thank you. This man has a message for you. What's his message? When you're ready, you can open your eyes, maybe give a wiggle of your body or your fingers, and toast. Come back into the regular world. Maybe take a breath. If it feels good. Wow, what a good walk that was. Did the, did the man say something to you? What did he say? Who was he? I could tell you what the man said to me, but maybe that would interfere with your experience. Whether he said something to you or not, maybe there was a feeling, or maybe there was a desire, or some kind of shift inside of you, emotionally. But if he had a message for you, I hope it was a helpful message, and you could carry it with you into the future. To nourish something inside of you that needs apples or needs forests or movement or movement without pain. Thank you for considering this meditation and love to all of your needs.